Welcome to wisnotes.com mathematics video tutorials. Question 11c. It reads, given that P equals the matrix 1, 0, 0, negative 1, and Q equals the matrix 0, 1, negative 1, 0, we are to calculate the combined matrix PQ. So in other words, we are simply multiplying matrix P by matrix Q. Alright, so for our solution, we simply multiply matrix P by matrix Q. So matrix P is 1, 0. Matrix P is 1, 0, 0, negative 1. Matrix Q is 0, 1, negative 1, 0. And how we multiply matrices is that we multiply the row of the first matrix by the columns of the second matrix. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix and that's a 2 by 2 matrix. So the result is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And this first element is in the first row and the first column. First row, first column. Hence we multiply the first row of the first matrix by the first column of the second matrix. So it's going to be 1 multiplied by 0 is 0 and then 0 multiplied by negative 1 is 0. So 0 plus 0 is 0. So that element is 0. For here, this is the first row and this is the second column. So we're multiplying the first row by the second column. So it's 1 multiplied by 1, that's 1. And 0 multiplied by 0, that's 0. So the result is 1. Hence we have a 1 here. And then this element here is in the second row, first column. So we multiply the second row by the first column. So it's 0 times 0, that's 0. And negative 1 times negative 1, that's a positive 1. Hence this is a positive 1. And then this element here would be in the second row, second column. So we multiply the second row by the second column. Second row by the second column. So that would be 0 multiplied by 1 is 0, and then negative 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. Hence the result 0, 1, 1, 0. And that's the answer for PQ. Part 2 says we have to find the coordinates of the image of the point 4, negative 2 under the combined transformation PQ. Right? So for this section, we basically will be applying the combined matrix PQ to the vector matrix for the point 4, negative 2. Okay? Now let's give that point a name just for ease of reference. So we are saying let the point S, let S be the point 4, negative 2, the point that was given here. So under PQ, what we do to apply the matrix PQ to S, we multiply PQ times S. So the matrix PQ multiplied by the vector matrix, the column matrix for S. It's gonna is how you apply PQ to S, to, so you can find the image of the point S. So PQ we worked out from the first part is this, and since the point is four negative two, the position vector for the point, which is the vector for the point, would be four negative two. Hence we do this multiplication. So again we multiply along the row and down the column, along the row, down the column. Alright, so the row of the first matrix multiplied by the column of the second matrix. Now this is a 2 by 2 multiplied by a 2 by 1. So the result is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix, right? So that's it. It's going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. So the first element here will be obtained by multiplying 0 multiplied by 4, that's 0. And then 1 multiplied by negative 2. So that's negative 2. So 0 plus negative 2 equals negative 2 here. And then the second element it would be 1 multiplied by 4. That's 4 plus 0 multiplied by negative 2. That's 0. So 4 plus 0 equals 4. And it's the image, the vector for the image of the point. 
is negative 2, 4. And therefore, the image which is a point, you have to give the coordinates. The question asks us for the coordinates. Alright, so if the vector of the image is negative 2, 4, then the coordinates of the image is negative 2, 4 written in the coordinate form. X coordinate, Y coordinate. Because the question asks us for the coordinates of the image. Right? We use the vector vector multiplication to work out the coordinates, to work out the transformation, but we give the coordinates in this form. So this then would be the image of this point under PQ. The image of 4, negative 2 under PQ is negative 2, 4. So this is our answer. So we can go ahead and put that in as our answer. Okay, now part 3 says we are to write a complete description of the combination of two transformations represented by PQ. So we are going to seek to explain how this combination matrix PQ would work. Alright, so let's start with a statement of the combination matrix and then we'll explain as we go along. Now, the combination matrix the combination matrix PQ represents transformation Q followed by transformation P. How it works is that if you have two transformations, individual transformation, because P is a transformation matrix and Q is a transformation matrix. And if you're gonna do if you're gonna do Q followed by P, what they say is that you apply the second transformation to the first transformation. So by applying the second transformation to the first transformation, you do that by multiplying the second transformation matrix, which will be P, by, this, by the first transformation matrix, which would be it should be Q, right? So it's Q first followed by P. So you multiply P by Q. You put the last one in front. So therefore PQ really means Q, which is the second matrix here, followed by P. PQ means Q followed by P because you're applying the second matrix to the first one. So you put the second matrix in front. And we can take this and show this further by applying the combination matrix to the point. What that really means, explaining a little further, is that if you apply the combination matrix PQ to the point S, it will take you to S double prime, which will be a second image. Right? So the single matrix PQ will move S, trans will transform point S to point S double prime. And that would be the same as that would be the same as transforming transforming S under Q first. See? Q first would take you to a point S prime. And then when you apply P to S prime, it will take you to the same S double prime that would be here. So it's basically PQ will take you in one step from S to S double prime. While if you do it step by step, you would have to apply Q first to end up at the same S, S double prime point under the combined transformation. You would apply Q first to S to take you to point S prime and then apply P to S prime to take you to the point S double prime. Right? And we can show that in the, in the, in the calculations step by step. Right? I'm going to show you what S prime would be under the first, under Q. So S prime, S prime under Q would be equal to Q times S. Because we're applying S, we're applying Q to the point S, right? So QS would simply be, this is Q, Q multiplied by the matrix for S, right? S is that point. 4, negative 2, so that's the matrix, and the result would be negative 2, negative 4, because 0 times 4 is 0, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, and then for this element, it would be negative 1 times 4 is negative 4, 0 times 2, negative 2 is 0, so this would be the vector for 
the point s prime and then now if you apply now p if you apply p now which is the second part of the combined transformation if you now apply p to s prime that's representing this part so we apply p now to s prime so we multiply p by s prime the result is going to be s double prime so s double prime is going to be equal to p times s prime now p is this first matrix here right so that's that one and then the s prime right is this matrix here that we just worked out from applying q that's this one here so when we do this multiplication we're gonna get 1 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 2 0 times negative 4 is 0 so this result is negative 2 and then for this element it's gonna be 0 times negative 2 is 0 and then negative 1 multiplied by negative 4 gives us a positive 4 so that's 4 and we observe that this negative 2 4 s double prime is the same negative 2 4 that we that we got when we applied the combined matrix pq we can also show this we can also show this via a diagram right let's go ahead and bring in and show this graphically what is happening here all right let's bring in the frame and let's bring in the axis Y axis, and I'm going to bring in the point S. All right, so let's show the axis and the point S. Now, what we have is a point S, which is 4, negative 2. That's the point S. All right, and when we apply step by step the first matrix Q, because we're saying PQ is the same as Q followed by S. So, when you apply the matrix Q, we saw that the result was negative 2, negative 4. Now, I can tell you that Q right, is a rotation about the origin. Right? Q is a rotation about the origin. And if you observe here, Q will move the point S to S prime with coordinates would be negative 2, negative 4, negative 2, negative 4 under Q. Right? S would move to S prime, negative 2, negative 4. And then when we apply now P to S prime, we see that the image is negative 2, 4, negative 2, 4, which is up here. And I can tell you that P really represents a reflection over the x-axis right p represents a reflection over the x-axis and it will take us to this point here which would be negative 2 4 and i can now tell you right that if you want to go straight from s to s double prime here what we would have to do is reflect over the line y equals x Right, and we can bring that in so you can see what is happening. So that's our line y equal x. Right? And PQ, the combined transformation PQ, you will see that what it does is take us straight from S to S prime. So PQ really is the matrix. The matrix PQ really represents a reflection over the line y equals x but instead of reflecting straight over the line y equals x we can go step by step and apply q first to take us to the point s prime and q is going to be a clockwise 90 degree rotation about the origin and then p which follows q is going to be a reflection over the x-axis and this p now will take s prime to s double prime so q followed by p is equivalent to a reflection over the line y equals x so we can put that in a statement right by observing the graph right observing the graph we observe two things first we observe that pq is a reflection over the line y equals x pq is a reflection over the line y equals x and then 
we observe secondly that the combined the combined the combination transformation pq is a clockwise rotation through 90 degrees there's our 90 degrees about the origin this origin is the center of our rotation here right represented by q there's our q for our rotation about origin followed by that's a blue transformation now followed by a reflection over the x-axis there's our x-axis and reflect s prime over the x-axis right and that reflection is represented by p and that's the, the the description of our combined transformation pq pq is q followed by p q is a clockwise 90 degree rotation about the origin and p is a reflection over the over the x-axis right and that's our combined transformation that's our description and that then represents the answer, the description. All right. So thanks for visiting wisnotes.com. Come again for more solutions in mathematics. Bye.